كنت من أتصور أن هذا قد مصريش تروح الحمد لله Muslims all over the world have been experiencing a Ramadan like no other. The holy month in which Muslims fast from sunrise to sunset is a time for physical and spiritual discipline, self-reflection and giving back to the community. And while fasting is a key part of Ramadan, most worshippers look forward to the communal element of the month, marked by social gatherings, charity and congregational prayers. The coronavirus pandemic gripping the world in 2020, however, meant Muslims had to give up on the many rituals and traditions key to this time of year, as lockdowns and social distancing measures were enforced by governments across the world to slow the spread of the virus and protect their citizens. Islam's three holiest sites in Mecca, Medina and Jerusalem, as well as mosques everywhere, had to close their doors to worshippers, suspending all congregational prayers, including Taraweeh, the special Ramadan nightly prayers which bring large numbers of Muslims together. Ramadan tents and communal iftars, which often see large numbers of people come together to break their fasts and offer food for the less fortunate, were banned, and the Ramadan cannons announcing the end of each fast could only be heard on TV. The bustling bazaars across much of the Arab and Muslim world turned into ghost towns amid nationwide curfews, and Hakawatis, storytellers who traditionally tell folk tales throughout the month, had to also stay at home. To overcome the lockdown challenges, people resorted to using digital platforms to arrange virtual communal iftars, encourage donations, and live stream prayers and religious webinars. And to keep the spirit of giving alive, charities organized food deliveries in place of iftar gatherings. <laughs> Ramadan 2020, which began on the 24th of April with the sighting of the crescent moon, has been marked by empty mosques and modest iftars within the confines of family homes, followed by a muted Eid al-Fitr, the festival at the end of the month, as much of the Arab and Muslim world announced a ban on collective Eid prayers and celebrations.